Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines. Where last time we built our victory monument, our first actual monument, the Eden Project, and started developing this little town area. And now today, hopefully we're gonna finish the area off and maybe dabble in some other creative projects. So if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So yeah, last time we started on this kind of medieval coastal area off in the corner here. Now I call it a clock town. And I kind of ended things a bit abruptly. Just was feeling a little overwhelmed last time. But in between that and now, I kind of polished it off a bit. Added in a cool park back here called Castle Gate Park. Because the idea I had was that we'd have this underground tunnel going through the mountain to the sea fortress over here. And I was like, dude, that's so neat. It's like the entrance to this like little town here. I thought that was really cool. And it's better than going like up and over the mountain or having to walk all the way around. It just seemed to make sense. So yeah, cool little tunnel, cool little park here. A couple little details all out and about. It looks really nice. Neat little place. Anyway though, I want to finish this area off and I was looking through the monuments and there's a new one called the Castle of Lord Chirpwick, which is costing a small fortune. Well, a small fortune, I mean a pretty big fortune, almost two million dollars, but what a perfect thing for this kind of medieval area. And I want to have this castle like right up on the cliff here. That would be sick. However, as I'm sure you could notice, it's not unlocked. So in order to unlock that, we need a city arch, which I believe we have. Where's the city arch? This is part of like the Park Life DLC, I believe. Where's that silly little arch at? Hello? There it is, the city arch. So this can go over roads too. So it's really, really neat. I like it a lot. I was thinking, where should we put this? And now this might seem kind of weird, but I kind of want to put it right in here. So this is right next to our central station area, the Bits Junction that has all of our ferries, our trains, our buses, all the nine yards. So it's like, yo, that's pretty much the entrance to the city and the city arch should be right next to it. So let's add that in right here. There we go. How does it look? Looks old, man. <laughs> it looks really old. But it's a neat little detail. I think I can live with that. Then I'm just gonna have to work on the area for a second around it. Okay, and there we go. Just took out one of the buildings and made this like little touristy area here so they can get food, check out the statue, look at the gate, little info kiosk there, and just made a little thing of it. Just a neat little addition to the city. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So with that in now, we need more things for this unlock. So, da 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 We need the old Market Street. Now here's where we have a bit of a problem because we don't have this unlocked either. Uh, this is going to need 5,000 meters of walking tours. I don't know about walking tours, I'll be honest. It's one of the things I haven't really messed around with ever. However, it's right over here. It's a part of the park's life as well. So you place points of interest to create walking tours. Tours going through areas with a high appeal attract more tourists. The points of interest must form a circular line. So how I'm reading this, it's kind of like a bus stop then. Except you walk there. Okay, so where are points of interest? Well, apparently, these parking lots are like, wow, those are the coolest things ever, man, wow! And we should have tourists walking around that, but uh, no. Ooh, over here. I think this is the ziggurat. Definitely a point of interest. But there's nothing else really to walk around to. There's a park here. I guess we could try making one here. There's a bit. It's a cool little pyramid park thing. Yeah, let's try it out. So, is this it? You just kind of click and 
make points? I think so. You have people walk up to this park. That's kind of neat. Then I guess like the tour guide kind of explains everything. Oh, and look at that. They can go on the pedestrian pass I made. Ooh. So then they'll go to this. Will they go into here then? Yeah, obviously, right? Yeah, and we'll have them come up this way. Just so we don't have walking tours in this like high traffic junction here. That'd be kind of bad. And from there, I guess we can get rid of that one. Oh, I see, but then they're doing this. I guess this is fine. We can go to there. Go walk right in front. Everyone has a good laugh of like, oh, you just came in from the airport and now you're walking in front of it. Ha ha. Big memes. And then from there, they start walking back, I guess. Yeah. And then back to there. And that's it? That's the walking tour? How does that work? How do I know it's working? It's like a tour guide going to appear? Are you walking this tour, my friend? How do I see the lines? Oh, there, there's a whole nine yards going on here. And I guess after a while, it'll start to show, like, what's going on. Okay. Neat. And now with that walking tour done, did that count towards this? Yes. Oh my gosh, we're going to have this unlocked in no time. So with that walking tour done, where should we have the next one? I think it's pretty obvious. Down in the Sunset Boulevard Moonlight Crescent area with Poseidon Park. Like, come on. One of the coolest places in the city. You better believe there's going to be a walking tour here. So I just looped the other one inside the park there, and now I've just finished another walking tour along the beachfront of our city. So that should definitely, definitely cover us for the monument, right? Absolutely. Unlocked just as I said it. So Old Street Market, uh, atmospheric street with traditional small shops and boutiques. Increases tax income of all nearby commercial zones. Alrighty. Well, I don't particularly care about that. I just want to... How does it look? Let's just put it down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! It looks like a small German, like, street. Oh, that's so nice! Oh, I like that a lot. Can we put that down over here? Oh, maybe later. I was thinking down in here, but this is already kind of set up. Maybe up in here when we start designing. Anyway, with that down, what do we need next? The Statue of the Colossus? Oh yeah, I'm familiar with this one. This one kind of stands in the water. And to be honest, not like a super big fan of it. It really, <laughs> it stands out a little bit too much. Yeah, like it's uh, a little insane. A little freaking insane. Now, honestly, I have it placed down there. I don't know. Should we keep it? Should we move it? And if we move it, is there a better place for it? I, I don't know. I'm going to leave it there for now. We're going to turn it off, though. Costs a little bit too much money to run. And we're going to call her good with that. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if we should actually keep it. But with that, it looks like we're good. Castle of Lord Sherpwick has been unlocked. So, how does... Oh. That's a lot smaller than I expected, to be perfectly honest. Where do we want that? Probably near the end here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna work the land a little bit then. Okay, I think I got it down here. So it'd be about here. The foundation would kind of extend down the cliff, which would look sick. And hopefully it's good. It's not good at all. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. Oh, no. Oh, but that castle looks amazing, man. Wow. Easily one of the coolest buildings in the game. But yeah, here I was thinking the foundation of here would go down to the cliff. No, 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 no. Uh, other way around. <laughs> Oof. That's going to cost a lot of money to move. And we don't really have a lot of opportunities to move it. Oh, but if we delete it right now... Okay, it's not the end of the world. Thank God. 
Oh my goodness, it took a bit and a couple million dollars, but I think we got a position for it. Changed around the mountain a little bit to uh, just work with the castle and we'll change the mountain around quite a bit more still. But I want to finish off the top area that we got going here. And since we just unlocked that cool old town thing, I want to see if we can fit that up here. Like it would look great, right? So if we just... How much does it cost to move? 15 grand? Easy, easy money. Easy money. Could we have that in front here? Like, that's the dream. So what if we did this, this, and then we moved this over there? Is that going to be good? Is it going to fit in? Oh, you better believe it's going to fit in. Let's just try that out. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. It's oh, almost perfect. It's a bit of a conundrum, actually. It's like, do I want to line up everything with the door or with the spire up here? Probably with the door, actually. So let me move things around a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Fundamentally better. Look at that. Now we have the old town going straight up to our cool new castle. Wow. That is so neat. Then we have the fortress off to the side, the peasant village down here with the clock tower. Dude, I really like this a lot. What a cool project this is shaping up to be. All right, so dabbled around with things a little bit here, got things a little bit more clean, fixed up the hills, looking neat, added in a couple roads. First little decoration here, just to look out so you can see the castle and all the ships and Oh, this place is really neat, man. Really, really neat. And also, oh my goodness, I was bringing the road up from down here. Goes up this hill into a square roundabout, essentially. And what we're going to do on the end here is we're going to put in the friendly neighborhood park. So check this out. Check this out. This is why this is so cool. A, it lines up perfectly. And B, is that, wait, is that perfecter? Yeah, that's good. All right, and B, check it out. It end caps the whole area perfectly. So you have the big castle at the end, the awe-inspiring majestic castle. And then at the end of the street, you have the friendly neighborhood park over there. And it all works out really well. Really, really well. Oh, Kidoki though. Added in a few roads too, because we're gonna be adding in a few buildings. Problem with this area though is this is very European themed, whereas the rest of our city is not. So it's gonna be a little weird. I don't know. We might have to change things up quite a bit, but we're just gonna try it out, see what happens. Zone this into its own little area. Bada boom, Hawthorne Park. Okay, sure, doesn't really matter. Well, well you guys will choose the name for that. And then, we want to make this, not leisure, probably tourism. Uh-huh, so we'll have hotels and stuff up here so people can go to the castle, check out the strip, etc, etc. Now, super quick, over here is another tourism area. How's this zoning? Okay, this is the, <laughs> this is the problem I was thinking about. There is a ton of high-rises mixed in here. So these hotels, very, very tall. Now if we had that on the cliff here, that would probably ruin the aesthetic. So I think in policies, there is something we can do about this. High rise ban, I think it's called. Ah, here it is, high rise ban. So now the big question. If I have the high rise ban in a tourism area, will we be able to actually have the tourist buildings? Like, will anything actually appear here? Well, <laughs> clearly something's happening. Okay. Fast forward a bit. And how do these buildings look? Hopefully not too bad. What is this? I said high-rise fan. Okay, 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 okay. The castle 
is number one. How was this not a high rise? So switching it up, what if we just had this be leisure? How would that change things? Well, the buildings are shorter, but the 5 a.m. disco party place? I don't think really fits the theme here. So going to kind of full circle here, what if there's no specialization? It's not tourist, it's not leisure, it's just commercial zones in the area. What's gonna happen then? Kind of small town, normal looking buildings. I think I can work with that. We might change it up a bit later. But we're gonna have to see. Like the only other option aside from buildings here is making this all a park. But I don't know what the heck I'd fill the park in with, like... I don't know. I'll see how I feel about that. Speaking of parks though, the castle up here... is looking very lonely. So majestic. But surrounded by nothing. So, the area around it is gonna be its own super park. So, let's go and design that. I don't think we'll actually designate it as a park. Because I don't want to have to deal with the uh, park entrance stuff. But we can have little walkways going around. Something like that. It's not bad. Connects back up with the road here. Ooh, and we could do something like that. Now, does that look cool or does that look weird? I think it looks kind of cool. And then kind of working from there, I kind of added in a couple more paths just kind of closer to the castle. And I think we got something going here. I think the only big thing it's gonna need is a bunch of trees. That's also good because we can add a bunch of trees in this little gap area. And then we can make this place look almost like a forest. A forest surrounded by uh, tropical beaches, but a forest nonetheless. So we'll try it out, see how it looks. All just an experiment, guys. It's just a journey, man. Woo! Yep, okay, yep, that is absolutely fine. I thought the type of tree mismatch would be really weird looking, but no. I like it. I like it a lot. Added in a few more paths here, a little pavilion to the end. A couple of the little pink trees because they're so bright. I'd say that looks quite royal. Mm, yeah, it's quite indeed. Oh man, look at the thumbnail right there. Bada boom. Easily done. Cool. And there's some parking lots up in front too. Surrounded by hedges, of course, for the royalty. Mm, yes, yeah, quite. Nifty. And since we have the castle's theme figured out, we just need to make the rest of the town match, and that is essentially what I did. Added in more trees all over the place. We have the little commercial shops. I added in this cool little park area off to the side here has its cannons, its horses, looking neat. And in front of the market, I had like a one tile space. So I threw a couple decorations in there too. And it looks amazing, man. And with our cool little tourist area over there, decided to add in an extra little highway connection for it. So people don't have to do the whole whoop through here and all that jazz. And there they go. There's an in, there's an out, a little roundabout. Very easy, simple stuff. And I have to say that I think this island is done. Like I don't want to build a town or anything up here. This is about as dense as I want this area. We have our airport. Yeah! Only little other area I guess would be right down here then, eh? So what could we do here? Extend this a little bit? Sure. Why not? And yeah, there we go! Island is complete! And you know what? That looks really cool too. So it kind of splits off like the new area and the older area with the highway. Nifty. And it leaves us a little easy room to expand if we ever decide to in the future. I don't think we will again. I like how dense this area is and I'd like to keep it that way. So yeah! Pretty much done! And now we can move back to the mainland. Oh, and work on all of this. Oh man, oh man, I can't wait. It's gonna be amazing. However, I think that's gonna be all for today. So if you enjoyed, again, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I hope to see you again in the next one.
So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>